Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a DIY slider. First, I'm going to show you guys how to build it the wrong way. Alright, here's the first slider that I built. It wasn't very sturdy. I went very cheap and minimal on it. As you can tell from the test footage, it was re really shaky. Um, not so professional looking. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to build it the right way. And here are the parts list for this, the rail system. And the tools that I use. First I'm cutting off this piece of wood to match the length of the EMT, half inch EMT, which is five foot long. And I'm taking this EMT clamp and straightening out one side. This clamp is gonna hold the EMT closer to the edge and you're gonna need four of those total so it's always good practice to pre-drill your holes before you run your screws in that way you don't split the wood and I think it's I think it'll make it stronger too Now I find the center of the pipe and I'm going to drill right through the wood into the EMT pipe and I'm going to put a screw straight through it. This will help keep the EMT from moving around and help keep the board from warping after a period of time. Um, I'm countersinking my screws just in case I need to lay it on some real flat surface. This is optional. It's got quarter 20 threads which you can put into wood. You can pick them up at the hardware store and I'm not quite sure what they're called. And I'm putting it in three different locations, one, two in the edge, you know, one on each end and one in the center. Um, here it is flushed, my countersunk screws. Here's my quick release plate, just in case I want to put it on a tripod or something. And here's a parts list for the roller thingy assembly. Now I took this uh, tie strap and I drilled the furthest holes out 5 16 so This is a plate of metal that I have bent to match the uh, length of the EMT pipes. And these are all the parts that you're going to need. Roller blade wheels. You're going to need 8 of those. 5 16 bolts. You need 4 of those. 5 16 lock nuts and washers. Um, small bolts and matching nuts and a tripod head I took this off of a old tripod and quarter 20 nuts and bolts this is what's gonna hold the head to the mounting bracket connect the tie ends to the mounting bracket and then put your rollerblade wheels on um, sep make sure you separate the, the wheels from the plate by using the 5 16 washer. Because if you put them right on the plate, it's just going to rub and it's not going to go anywhere. So, just get all four sets on there. You want to make sure it's right and then go through and tighten everything down. And be sure to use lock nuts or lock tight because it will wiggle itself loose if you don't. I'm fastening the tripod head to the plate using the quarter 20 nut and bolt. And there you have it. Probably use this without the rail if you had a smooth countertop or a table. And this is what it looks like on real. And I have it attached to some lighting tripods.
but I prefer to see clamp them down to some chairs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more test footages and um, a virtual tour of my home studio, and if you like to see another video that has absolutely nothing to do with this video, click here. And thanks for watching.